Today we are learning the move tool in Photoshop. The move tool is located on the top of the toolbar and its shortcut is V. With the move tool you can select objects and move them as well. However, you can neither select nor move an object which is locked in the layers panel. It is only when you unlock the layer you can select the object and move it as well. You can select multiple objects by holding shift and then click on the objects. You can also select the objects by dragging a selection on the individual objects or shift drag one by one to select multiple objects. You can also drag all over the objects to select multiple objects. With the move tool, you can select layers and move them up and down as well. This is not a complicated document at all, but let's try to make it somewhat complicated. Let's assume that it's impossible for you to select the red box. In this scenario, right click on a common region and then Click on the name of the layer which contains the object you want to select. You see, the red box is selected. At this point, with the red box selected, if you think that your layers panel is too crowded for you, you can right click anywhere on the canvas and click on Isolate Layers. It will leave you only with the layer containing the selected object. To bring all the layers back, you right click and uncheck isolate layers. I will rearrange the objects in the canvas. To duplicate an object, press Alt, you'll see a double headed arrow which is when you drag the object. I'll undo that. You can also constrain the movement of an object in a perfect straight line horizontally or vertically. To do that, select the object, then press shift and move the object up and down, it will move in a straight line. Select the object, press shift and try to move it sideways, it will move in a straight line as well. This is the option bar. Right now it's showing the options for the move tool because the move tool is selected at this moment. First is the auto select tool. When the auto select option is checked, you can select objects by simply clicking on them. But if it's unchecked, you cannot select objects directly. It will give you an error message. In order to select the red square, you'll have to select the layer containing the red square. And then you'll be able to move it. Irrespective of wherever you click on the canvas, as long as the red layer is selected, you're only going to select and move the red box. If you want to select and move the green box, you'll first have to select the layer containing the green box, only then you'll be able to select and move it. I like my auto select checked. To show you the next options, I need to make a group of these three objects. I will shift click the layers one by one and then make a group. This group 1 contains all the three boxes inside it. You may think you should be able to move the entire group, but when you try to move it, the individual layers move. That is because here layer is selected. To move the entire group, you'll have to select group. And now if you select any element of the group, the entire group will move. I'll go back to layers and delete the group.
Next is the show transform controls. With this checked, when you click an object, it will show a bounding box around it with which you can scale it or rotate it. We'll undo that. But if it's unchecked, even if you select the objects, it will not show any bounding box. In order to be able to transform the objects, you'll have to press Ctrl T and then you'll be able to scale them or rotate them. I'll undo that. Next comes the set of alignment options. These are now grayed out. For these to be active, you need two or more objects in different layers to be selected. So if I select all of them, the alignment options become active. Say I want all of these three boxes to align to the left edge of the canvas. The option for that is this left alignment button. But how will Photoshop know that I want the three objects to align to the left edge of the canvas? For that, I'll click these three dots and then in the Align to section, I'll select Canvas. Now Photoshop knows that I want to align the objects with respect to the canvas. So now if I click left align, all the three boxes will move to the left edge of the canvas. I'll undo that. Similarly, with align to set to canvas, if I click on right alignment, all of the three boxes will move to the right edge of the canvas. I'll undo that. Now if I click horizontal middle alignment, all of the three boxes will come to the horizontal middle of the canvas. I will undo that as well. Keep in mind, all this while the align to is set to canvas. At this point, if I click top alignment, all the boxes will align to the top edge of the canvas. We'll undo that. And now if I click the vertical middle alignment button, all of the three boxes will move to the vertical middle of the canvas. I will undo that. Likewise, if I click on this bottom alignment button, all of the three boxes will move to the bottom edge of the canvas. I'll undo that. To show you the next options, I'll have to space the boxes unevenly. So you see that the distance between this edge and this edge is greater than the distance between this edge and this edge. If I want to space the three boxes evenly, I'll select all of the three boxes and then click on Horizontal Distribute. So you see that the distances between the adjacent edges of the boxes are the same. I'll rearrange the boxes to show you the vertical distribute option. I'll select all of the three boxes and then click on distribute vertically. The distance between this edge and this edge and the distance between this edge and this edge are the same. You can align objects within a selection as well. To do that, select all of the three objects Click on these three dots and instead of Align to Canvas, select Align to Selection. So now, if you click Left Edge Alignment, these two objects will align to the left edge of the selection. I'll undo that. Now if you click on Align to Right Edges, these two objects will align to the right edge of the selection. We'll undo that again. If you click on Align to Horizontal Middle button, all of these objects will align to the horizontal middle of the selection. We'll go back a step. Similarly, if you click on Top Edge Alignment, these two boxes will align to the top edge of the selection. We'll go back a step. The bottom alignment button will align the boxes to the bottom edge of the selection. 
I will undo that and the vertical middle alignment button will align the objects to the vertical center of the selection. I will undo that as well. But what if you want to align objects with respect to one key object? Let's make the red box the key object and I want the blue and the green to align to the horizontal center of the red box. To do that, I'll normally select these two boxes but instead of selecting the red box on the canvas, I'll press Ctrl and then click on the thumbnail area of the red layer. These marching ants indicate that Photoshop has made a different kind of selection around the red box. If I click Align to Horizontal Center, the blue and the green boxes align to the horizontal center of the red box. We'll go back a step. Now let's make the blue box the key object and I want this green box and this red box to align to the vertical center of the blue box. To do that, I'll normally select the green box and the red box and instead of selecting the key object on the canvas, I'll control click the thumbnail of the key object or the blue box, the blue layer. The marching ants appear and then I'll click vertical middle alignment button. You can try for yourself this key object technique for all the alignment options to see how they work. These are the three objects I'll be using to demonstrate the other options. But before that, I want to quickly talk about edges. So for this blue object, this is the left edge, right edge, top edge and bottom edge. Left edge, right, top, bottom. Left, right, top, bottom. And this line in the middle is the horizontal center, vertical center. Horizontal center, vertical center. Horizontal center, vertical center. So with these in mind, let's dive in. To show you the options, I'll place this red slightly towards the green. I'll select all of them and then click these dots. And then click on this distribute left edges button. It has distributed the left edges of these three objects evenly. So this distance is equal to this distance. Similarly, you can distribute the right edges evenly as well. To do that, you'll have to click this distribute to right edges button. So these are the right edges. And the distance between this edge and this edge is equal to the distance between this edge and this edge. So these two distances are equal. Let's go to the next option. Distribute centers horizontally. So it has evenly distributed the centers of these three objects. This set of distribute options are similar to these options, only they work vertically. I'll encourage you to try these yourself. And we have already discussed these two options here. These 3D options are beyond the scope of this tutorial, I'll cover them in later videos. This tutorial was part of Beginner's Basic Guide to Photoshop series, so 